What's going on everybody? A little bit more of a relaxed video today. Um, just a quick one. I wanted to give you guys some tips today on how to survive Inktober since we're, well, I'm 17 days, oh no, 18 days in. <laughs> Going a little insane. Um, 18 days in and I've done a video every day and a drawing every day. So I feel pretty good, pretty confident that I'm going to finish strong. Um, and I feel good. This is my first year attempting this and I just started the channel at the beginning of the challenge. So, um, yeah, feeling, feeling good, feeling strong. So I want to share a couple of tips. Um, today is a perfect example of the first tip I want to talk about. I actually started drawing and just certain days on this challenge, you have to just let yourself just kind of have fun and doodle and don't worry about the finished product. Don't worry about putting out something that looks amazing and everyone's going to love, but just sit down give yourself a day to just draw for fun and don't worry about what you're drawing and staying in the lines. I actually started drawing a picture today. I was about two thirds of the way in. I wasn't even happy with it. And then I just was drawing this window with this blue and I came up with this idea of doing this cave drawing. So I literally threw that drawing, the drawing I was doing to the side and just jumped right into this cave drawing. Um, which is just like, it was just a really fun doodle and I think it came out really cool. It's like these two little guys, they're kind of going down into the cave together and then um, avoiding zombies and then when they get to the bottom, <laughs> they're like trying not to, they're like spooked. They're either, I haven't decided, they're either spooked or they're about to try to fight each other for the gems that they found at the bottom. But anyway, it was a very different type of drawing for me to do. I got to use uh, minimal colors, but everything I think really popped. I got to use my gel pen, um, my I forget the my Sakura one, I forget the name of it, the souffle pen, um, which is always a lot of fun for highlighting and stuff like that. It was kind of like a comic one because I got to tell a story in it. So it was a lot of fun. So just make sure if you have a day where you're just feeling like you don't know what to draw, you don't know if you can do the prompt, just sit down and just draw something. Um, if you're only drawing to make a video, which can happen with this challenge if you're making videos along with it. Don't just like, just do that. Cause this, this whole month, at least for me, I've really tried to fully utilize it to experiment. So I've done stories, I've done watercolors, markers, um, tried different pens and things like that. So make sure that you're experimenting to keep it interesting and you're, you're actually doing the challenge um, in a way that you're gonna grow and learn. Um, so yeah, my, my biggest, Tip, I guess is just to keep experimenting and use it as a time where you have permission to be experimental and don't worry about the finished product and you've got 30 days of just totally messing around and then if you want to work on finished products afterwards then do that um, but like allow yourself the freedom to just explore so anyway <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this doodle hope that maybe helps you to relax a little bit if you're getting stressed out about October doing one of these videos every day so subscribe if you want to see more and i'll talk to you guys in the next one